Hey everybody, it's John here from Tech7 and welcome to Phonage, a little show here on YouTube where I talk about cell phone stuff. News is kind of slow today, but I'm gonna try to make the most of it and try to make it fun for you guys. So let's get started. Pics of a new high-end Android-powered HTC device has been leaked on the interwebs. This one is codenamed the HTC Vision, and right off the bat you'll notice something quite awesome about the Vision. Oh yes, it comes with that HTC rainbow wallpaper. Oh, and, and it's got a keyboard as well. A real one, with buttons and everything. The keyboard looks very similar to the one found on the HTC Titan 2. Spec-wise, the Vision is expected to have a 1 GHz Snapdragon processor, Android 2.1, a 3.7 inch capacitive touchscreen, most likely AMOLED, and an optical trackpad similar to the ones found on the newer Blackberries. Think of this phone as being the HTC Desire but with a keyboard. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing! Speaking of desires, check out this video. Here, the Snapdragon processor of the Desire is matched up against the Hummingbird processor from the Samsung Galaxy S. Each device is running a mobile version of Quake 2, and as you see here, the Hummingbird processor is dominating. I think that term is from Unreal Tournament, which is a different game. Anyways, although Quake 2 isn't optimized for the mobile platform, it's pretty cool to see how different the level of performance is. It's just some food for thought, like cookies for your tummy, but for your brain. Brain cookies. Gross. Another high-end smartphone that's soon to be released, of course, would be the Motorola Droid X on the Verizon network. John for Lakers uploads a SmackDown comparison between the Droid X and the Evil 4G. Both of these have very similar specifications, similar features, and similar dimensions. So if you're considering picking up a new Android phone and can't decide between the X or the Evo, definitely check that video. It'll help you out. Mm -hmm. One of the more promoted features of the Droid X would be the onboard camera capable of capturing 720p HD videos. To be honest, I think it's quite bad. The white balancing is bad. Focus is quite poor and the image stabilization is absolutely terrible. Sometimes you're gonna say things in a really intense voice to make yourself feel more powerful. And you squeeze your fist really hard until it shakes, you just feel so empowered. Just make sure you don't do it in public because people think you're strange. Nowadays, almost every high-end smartphone is coming out with the ability to capture 720p HD videos. This is just my opinion of course and I just realized that every time I wanted to express my opinion I clap. Anyways, if you want a quality 720p HD video camera on your phone, at the moment nothing beats the iPhone 4. If you check out video samples and stuff you'll know what I'm talking about. They speak for themselves. Hi! Apple fanboy! Excuse me? Yeah you! Why do you always gotta talk about the iPhone? Well okay then, in your opinion what phone has the best onboard video camera? Best video camera that probably have to be the iPhone but that, that, that doesn't matter! Hi! I bet I know what your favorite fruit is! Oranges! Apples! For both of those videos and tons more tech related stuff, make sure you check out What's Up Guys! John Rettinger here from Techno Buffalo's YouTube channel. Dude, you're totally promoting his channel! I'm not! I just think he's a cool guy, okay? Jeez! Stop looking at me that way! Y your face is dirty! Why are you standing like that? In other news, apparently Mattel, makers of Barbies, Hot Wheels, and so on, is working with Qualcomm to develop an augmented reality version of the classic Rock'em Sock'em robot game. So it uses the phone's camera and virtually implements the robots onto this environment. Really, really cool stuff. I can't show the video here because of copyright and all that kind of stuff, but if you click on this button here, you can check out our version of the Rock'em Sock'em robot promo ad thingy. So my question for you guys today would be, what what kind of games would you like to see in this augmented reality platform for your cell phone? In my opinion, I think Pokemon would do really, really well in other games like that. Or Little Big Planet, you know, when you just have your phone like this and, and the sack boys is running around and jumping and, and stuff. He's cute, okay? Let me know in my commenting. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, speaking of comments. Last episode, I asked you guys what you thought of the Droid X. Some people loved it. Some even pre-ordered it. There were a few who were still confused as to pick up the Droid X or the iPhone. In my opinion, hardware-wise, both phones are quite awesome. It's more of an iOS or an Android OS thing. I would definitely recommend you to try out both phones at a Best Buy or steal your friends or something like that. And of course, I asked what you guys thought FPS can stand for. There were tons of answers. Most of them dirty, but I think the best ones came from Easter Blade. Fried poopy does smell, indeed, as you see I'm quite immature. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. This was John from Tech7.net, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! That was a John for Lakers creepy bye right there. That, that's just so good!